So a lot of y'all want to know, why are corporations so greedy? They have so much money. Why are they nickeling and diming us all the time? Why is it so hard to raise the minimum wage? Why is it so hard to advocate for us to not pay back our student loans? Why can't education be free? All this kind of stuff. That's because you are thinking about these issues from a third dimensional mindset. You are playing checkers. They are playing chess. This is really not about the money, okay? We gotta go back to that universal law of correspondence which says, as above, so below, okay? So if they're nickeling and diming you on the third dimensional plane and you know, you're coming home with a really small paycheck, you're coming home, home really tired, not ever having enough time to do anything else except you know the basic things before you have to go back to work the next week, what do you think is happening on the spiritual realm, okay? And this isn't to dishearten you. This is to actually empower you to take your power back. But you can't take your power back from a third dimensional mindset. Holding picket signs is only going to get you so far in terms of getting your justice. It starts on the energetic plane. The first thing you want to do if you want to reclaim your power back from these exhausting deals that you made somewhere on the spirit realm to have your power siphoned, your energy siphoned, you have to first of all revoke soul contracts, revoke the vows that you made to be impoverished, to be enslaved on a mental and spiritual plane, okay? I'm not talking about the clink clink shackles, all right? I know that technically that doesn't exist, at least in the Western world, typically, unless we're talking about human trafficking, but that's another topic. But um, at some point you did consent to giving your power away. And so you need to be able to find out how, when, and where you gave your power away and when you consented to it. Forgive yourself, forgive the other party involved, and take and reclaim your power back. That's the first thing. The next thing is there's gonna be a really interesting phenomenon that happens, something around energetic reparations. So a lot of times when large groups of people have been oppressed and wronged we go to this idea of reparations we need to get paid back on the monetary plane for the ways that injustice has been bestowed upon us i would invite anybody who has that belief system to actually take it to the energetic plane first okay and so uh, really connect with your spiritual team and see how you can energetically start calling in those reparations so that you can balance the scales in the physical plane. If you want to learn more about this, reach out to me.